The yield curve plots bonds of same credit quality over differing maturity dates. As you can see, it's upward sloping, meaning longer term bonds will have a better yield than shorter term bonds. It relies on the concept of the maturity premium, the demand for additional yield on longer term bonds comparatively to short term. This is because long term bonds have higher interest rate and inflation risk in addition to having money tied up for a longer period of time. To show long term bonds increased sensitivity to interest rates, we look at the bond duration rule of thumb, which is a purchase bond's yield years to maturity times the percent change in interest rates will yield the percent change in the bond's value on the secondary market. So let's take a bond with 20 years to maturity and there's a 2% change in interest rates, the bond loses 40% of its value. The inverted yield curve is an anomaly in which short-term debt will have a better yield than long-term debt. It's usually sparked by fear of recession. So hopefully now you know how bonds respond to interest rate changes and the difference between a yield curve and inverted yield curve.